Hey guys, I am Psychic Mara. This will be a energy read for 30-year-old pastor's wife, Micah Miller. Micah Miller was found deceased at a state park in North Carolina. Her husband, John Miller, quickly put out that his wife uh, had some mental health issues and problems and... Uh, she unalived herself, okay? He put that out pretty quick. I do apologize. I have been calling her Mika again. I caught that. I recognize it. Micah Miller. This is for her. I will be using these witches' runes. Yeah. Uh, if you have any questions about these runes, let me know in the comment section. Uh, let's see what the energy is here. And by the way, as usual, I know some people don't like it. They want to see everything in front of the camera, but I connect directly to spirit. I connect directly to deceased people if they're willing to connect back with me. And I shuffle the cards offline when I use them. I did a little shake up with these witches' rooms, okay? And these are the ones that popped out. I like to meditate off camera. It just works better for me. Thank you for understanding. Uh, let's go through what we have here. Again, Micah Miller. Energy read using the witch's runes. The overall energy I pick up is right here. This symbol is romance. This is the romance symbol. Okay, this represents romance. So the overall energy having to do with her death uh, had something to do with her love life. Okay, you need to understand that before I continue, everything is allegedly my opinion, but energies are always real. Okay, her death had something to do with romance, her love life, her romantic life. Yeah, it shows me here, this is the symbol of a crossroads. Someone being at a crossroads, she didn't know which way to go here. She really did not. It's like, you know, with these rings showing up here, it tells me that she was trying to start uh, a new beginning. This is new beginning energy here. Uh, she was trying to connect you see the rings connecting with each other, connect and network and get to know people and possibly even one day start dating again when she felt up to it. Uh, she was definitely um, someone who was very active. Uh, she interacted with her church, with her friends, acquaintances. I see that here. Um, yeah. She may have relayed some difficult news or information to a friend or acquaintance. That's what I pick up here. Uh, you know, there's a lot going on. You guys, real quick, intuitively, this always happens. Um, there's something coming in, um, getting interrupted by spirit. There is a female that will come forward with some valuable information having to do with Micah Miller and something that uh, she may have told this friend. I'm not sure if the info has come out yet, uh, okay, um, but there's something big coming, something that some of us may already suspect anyway, but there's something that uh, Micah's friend is going to reveal to Micah's family and probably the news, if this has not happened already, bear with me, okay? But she was reconnecting her thoughts, her life, uh, you know, man, trying to get herself back out there. Uh, she was shy and, and hurt and she strayed away from speaking to strangers or, or meeting new people. Somebody definitely put fear into her life. And this could have been a woman. This is female energy, this symbol right here, this runes. Okay, we also have watching. There's an eye here. Uh, this is actually psychic ability, uh, intuitive, empath. Uh, so she knew, she felt, her gut feeling told her she was being followed. It's right here. She was being watched. All eyes on her, but this is female energy. So you guys, this could take a small turn. I feel two people are involved. However they did it, I don't know. Two people are definitely involved, a man and a woman. The man symbol did not come out. And I shook these up and prayed several times. This is heavy female energy. 
um, somebody that's very fertile too. Um, this is a, a love and caring woman, okay? This runes means a woman who uh, she will do anything she needs to do to protect herself and her family or people that she cares about. Okay, she will do that, whatever it takes. If you are trying to come at this female energy here in the wrong way or kind of, you know, interrupt her world when everything is going good, you need to watch out because she will try to be sneaky and come after you. Okay, and whoever this unknown woman is here, she is connected to some romance, some love, someone's love life. She's connected to someone's partner. Um, I can't place it anywhere because that's not fair. But some people may say, oh, you know, she's connected to, you know, John, allegedly. This is someone connected to him. Again, I'm not saying it is. I cannot place that there. I don't have proof. But it is possible because there is a woman involved in Micah's death. I am not calling this the S word unaliving. I feel someone caught her off guard. Her back was turned. She was at that state park for a reason. Okay. And someone popped her. That is exactly what they did. They knew she would be there. This was a setup. I feel like this was premeditated. Okay. They knew she would be there. She was, here's the rings here. She was connecting her thoughts. Um, I feel like she was very spiritual as well. And she was getting out and, uh, somebody watched her for a month to two months. I feel they watched her movement. Uh, they knew when she would come and go. Um, yeah, they were watching her waiting for her to slip up and let her guards down. And when she was in that park that day, she definitely let her guards down and someone ran up on her. They were watching her anyway. It's right here. This came right. This is the first one that came out. Yeah. That psychic eye came out. But again, her gut feeling told her something was off and something might happen. Spirit is revealing to me right now that is going to be some of the news we hear about. Uh, Micah uh, did express to a friend of hers that she fears for her life and that, uh, again, you know, someone's watching her and that she feels that. Now, listen to this specifically. Uh, Micah tells a friend before she passed that if anything ever happens to me, Look at this person and possibly that person. And this is what I feel a friend or could be a family member. Someone will express. This is what's being held in, but it will come out soon and we will hear about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, even though she had some issues, some struggles, because again, this is the crossroads energy. She was still coming out of it. She was coming out of this crossroads, not knowing which way to go. Uh, again, she feared for her life. She knew that by telling something or breaking it, uh, breaking away from someone, um, someone would be angry with her because whoever unalived her, okay? Again, I say two people, but whoever was involved, they really felt like she's going to destroy me or destroy us or this congregation. She's going to mess everything up. We're going to lose. I'm going to look bad. Um, she's going to tell this and tell that. And that could, you know, really make me look bad. And, you know, and I don't want to be out here, you know, being, having this name and I'm supposed to carry this title. And now this is all out and the whole damn community, uh, is going to talk. And somebody feared that they feared it. Um, Instead of doing the right thing and, you know, going through all the paperwork and letting the separation happen the way it's supposed to happen, somebody took matters in their own hands and I feel like they unalived her. They better tap in and investigate this properly. This will piss me off if they don't. All I can do is pray in the background. This woman was murdered in my opinion, period. No question about it. This is what I feel. This is what I stand by. No, I can't prove it. But I'm going along with it. There's a female involved. It's right here. The runes say there's a female involved. There was somebody watching. This has something to do with her love life. Someone came after her. She was at a crossroads. Yeah, there were some issues here. Mentally, there was. But a lot of it was her being... This is, I'm thinking about uh, UK, England woman, Nicola Bully. 
Nicola Bully. I worked on her case um, some time ago and the videos have been unlisted, but I'm thinking of her because when she disappeared, Nicola Bully's husband <laughs> uh, kind of put some information out there about her and he did it quick. Oh, she had, she's vulnerable and she had menopause issues and she had some drinking problems. Allegedly, he said this and some health, mental health problems. And that was a little shady to me to throw your, your partner under uh, the bus like that. I can't make this up. I say bus, I hear a horn. I don't know. This is so funny. Uh, wow. <laughs> and it just went out as I was saying it and somebody caught something similar in another video. I mentioned a word and as I mentioned it, the sound came right. It's really, really amazing. Um, although these sounds are real, uh, spirit has a way to really, you know, make them uh, come into the video here. Um, because we're going to hear things, but that was kind of loud, interesting as hell. Although I did move and I am overlooking Atlanta. I can see Centennial Park and uh, I could be telling too much. It's it's beautiful here, but uh, it's loud. Okay. <laughs> A little loud for it. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm in the city. Okay. Uh, high rise. <laughs> um, very nice, but I'm trying to get used to it, you know. Enough about that. This is not about Mars, you know. Anyways, yeah. Uh, I think I told too much. I don't know if I can edit that out. Well, it's too late now, right? Hell, go along with it, right? <laughs> um, but no, guys, seriously, uh, yeah, this is really big. And uh, she was murdered, in my opinion. And this is what we have. And it's just, oh, I tell you guys. She deserves justice. Again, I apologize over and over. I've been calling her Mika. <laughs> uh, it's Micah. I believe it's Micah um, Miller. And the people that did this, uh, you can't tell them that they were wrong because in their head, they were doing what was right. They thought that she was getting ready to screw their life up. Whoever this woman is, this conniving female is she just felt that Micah was getting ready to ruin everything for her and her new family and spirit says it had a lot to do with money as well now I did pick up insurance and I want people to keep an open mind just because I say something doesn't mean I don't know this and know that or how the law works um because if you commit self-harm I know about the law especially in certain states that you won't, uh, if you're married, uh, you know, no, the husband or wife may not get the money or may not be able to collect insurance. I don't need anyone to come in the comment section trying to explain that. What you need to understand is I'm only sharing the energies with you. I don't need any correction for that. Okay. That's how you know I'm real. I'm only sharing what I, what I got. That man, in my opinion, Mr. Miller did take out some type of insurance, whether this was in the past or what. There's something he, a claim he took out. I, I don't know what it is, um, okay? I don't need anyone, oh my God, well, he, he can't get it because, you know, I don't know. I don't need that. I didn't say he could. This is all real. This is what I'm getting, okay? But yeah, so that came in. The beep and the horn energy also makes me think of, you know, again, the psychic eye, uh, someone watching and following her. This has been happening for a long time. She couldn't even uh, do what she wanted to do. Again, I keep getting, I feared for my life. I was at a crossroads. She didn't know which way to go. She did not know which way to go. She was trying to wait for this to boil over and somebody took her life before uh, she can come out in the clear and be comfortable with life. Uh, going back into what I was saying, um, she knew, she just knew it. And, you know, I don't know what the hell's going on, but someone will come forward with this piece of information about what I, I said to you all, because someone knows what's really going on here. She did not do this to herself. Um, 
a few other things that's coming in here intuitively. I pick up she was. Um, I see her in my vision in my third eye now. Oh, wow. Like she was jumping. I see her doing jumping jacks or something. Um, I, I told you, very active. I see that um, into her health, into fitness. Uh, see her networking, um, but still kind of afraid because from the corner of her eye, Micah always felt like someone was watching her. Um, I don't like this female energy, but this female will be exposed, okay? She felt like uh, Micah would mess her family up, okay? Very, very sad. But with Nicola Bully, yeah, similar, husband partner. Oh, she had mental health problems. I mean, just threw them right under the <laughs> the bus. I say bus, people say rug, whatever. <laughs> um, whatever, whatever have you, okay? So, yeah, man, this is what I have. I wanted to see what the witch's runes would have to say and here we have it. Unbelievable. Hmm. You know, this is like connecting the dots to me as well. Somebody connect, but I did hear about this after the fact. Someone connected more than a tracking device. There's a camera in her home or something like that. Something about a camera being in her home. Um, I don't know if they found that or not, but there is a camera there. She was definitely being watched. Okay. Somebody obsessing over her, uh, two people obsessing over her movements and what she would do next. And they were also watching her. They were afraid that Micah would tell the wrong people what was happening. And what was happening was very bad. There's a little embezzlement energy coming in here. See, this may not make sense to you now. It, it'll all come out later, allegedly. Uh, somebody could have allegedly uh, been involved in some kind of embezzlement. Okay, uh, I don't know. This is coming up. Okay, this is some other energy. I did not pick this up before. There's something about embezzlement, and we know that that's very bad. So, mm, this could come out later. Um, something about bank uh, statements, embezzlement, embezzling money. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comment section here. Okay, I just started this uh, case. Okay, so I don't have all the facts, but I'm only giving you what I feel, what I see, and what I hear, okay? I would have never thought that I would have gotten embezzlement, though. That is crazy. What the hell is going on? Let's wait and see what else comes out. Hmm. Huh. So it's going back to her like jumping or working out at, at that at this park allegedly I don't know um trying to you know get a peace of mind and um there's nothing like getting a peace of mind I tell you right um again reconnecting her thoughts and trying to clear the clutter and, and all the worry out of her mind um she could have been talking to or seeing a professional um I don't know, something about counseling, a, ther a therapy, therapist, something like that pops up here. Um, this is just what's coming in, okay? Um, I see a towel next to her. I see water next to her. I see a watch next to her. Um, I'm seeing a lot of items, little smaller items, water, a towel, watch. Huh. There's some of her hair that allegedly could be missing. I don't know if they know this or not. Somebody could have purposely cut a piece of her hair. Um, I don't, again, I don't know if this was noticed. I wouldn't know that. Um, huh. Yeah, she, I see a jump rope. She was, <laughs> she was working out. I see a laptop. Huh. You would almost think she was going there to meet someone. That could come out too, but someone definitely set her up, okay? And they chose that park. They chose to do it there. Uh, there's definitely two people involved. Don't forget, there's this woman energy trifling ass, okay? Um, this is what I have. Justice for Micah Miller, as I feel it will be coming in. I will not put a time to it, but I will put a time to some breaking news coming forward. I told you a friend of hers is getting ready to speak up and speak out to the news, uh, maybe a podcaster. I don't know. Someone's coming to talk about 
uh, how Micah was, uh, she feared and how she relayed some last minute information to her. This friend will be like, she just told me this and that. And then she just, you know, she passed away. No way. So it's coming. A friend will speak up. Love you guys much. Thank you for listening. Make sure you hit the like button. Okay. Real quick. I do not do drama here. I've been catching a couple of weird comments. I ignore it, but please Please don't come here telling me what another psychic or medium told you. Do not ask me if I'm sure about this and that because someone else said something different. Uh-uh, I don't play that. I stay in my lane. I do my thing. I respect and love everyone, okay? But you will respect me in these comment sections, all right? Or I, I will erase those comments and I will block you. I don't do any drama. I'm too cheerful for that. I'm too laid back, man. Don't bring it to me. I'm telling you. Be easy in these comment sections. But peace out. I, sound, I feel like I sound like Martin now. Peace out. <laughs> I'm so corny. We know this. We figured it out, you know, weeks ago. I'm corny. Go along with it. One more thing, because I feel like someone's going to say, oh, my God, why is she joking in her reading? Well, I say all the time I have to joke to kind of lift our vibrations because these readings are tough and, and I'm always trying to cry and I have to joke a little and giggle to myself and just to lift my spirits up and hold tight because I really do connect. Okay. Um, and this is what I pick up. Yeah. I know that someone caught her off guard and they, they killed her. This is what I feel. Okay. Bye.